Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at this LEGO City set. It is number 60173. Uh, it is called the Mountain Police, uh, sorry, the Mountain Arrest, and it's the sub theme Mountain Police. Uh, so this uh, was released 2018. Uh, recommended retail price is £40, uh, which I wouldn't pay for this personally unless you really want it. Uh, so I got it for 25 in B&M. Um, if you're not from the UK, it's like a, a bargain shop. Um, most of the time, the Lego, I find it actually full price. Um, but this was the last one on the shelf. And yeah, it was 25 So yeah, happy with that. Um, have a look on eBay, places like that. You'll get it cheaper. Uh, so it comes with 303 pieces and four minifigs. Um, plus an animal, which you can see down here, which is a bear. Um, so that's 13.2p per piece at full price, which is not very good. Um, but it does have some big pieces, uh, like for the helicopter, uh, some of these rock pieces. So I can, I guess I can understand the original price, but I just think, I think that's quite a lot. £40 is too much. So, um, yeah, you can see on the box um, what you get. On the back, you can see some of the different features. Um, so, got the map, uh, you've got the chain to lift up the money, shows you the buggy, um, the winch and everything that comes on the set. Uh, what set is that down there? Don't think that's one I have, another little one to get. Um, yeah, there we are, that's it for the box really. Uh, let's move on to the set itself. So there it is, built up. Um, I'm just going to move my tripod that's in my way, move it a bit closer. Uh, so yeah, there, there is a set all built up. So you get a decent amount of stuff. Um, very large helicopter, nice little off-road buggy and, and a structure. So I think if you can if you can get £10 off at least or something, then it's, it's a good set, definitely a good set to play with. Uh, let's look at the little buggy first, I guess. Um, so it's quite simple. Uh, you get, if I can get it off, yeah, so you get a little a little sack with some cash in the back. Vehicle's pretty, pretty straightforward, not much to say really, it's like an off-road buggy. Uh, that is actually like held in place, so you just need to uh, lift that up. And you can remove your minifig, which I'll try and do without pulling her hair off. There you go, the hair comes off. As usual, when I do things with one hand, um, might as well look at her now. So, kind of standard striped outfit, striped top to show that she is a, a thief, which seems to be the standard Lego thing. Um, not bad printing, I guess. Um, yeah, just the one face, which is a shame. But yeah, she's got that kind of smirk on her face. She looks like a criminal, I guess. And let's put her hair back on. Oh, so there she is with, with her hair in place. So yeah, not bad, she's fine. Um, inside, just got steering wheel. Um, not much to it, it's very basic really, but it's fine. Um, which we, I think we'll go helicopter next, uh, mainly because of the kind of bear and the structure and the, the dude in the kind of outdoor style bathtub is my favorite bit, so. It's quite large, you can see it moves nicely on the ground due to the uh, the front wheel, so it moves about nicely. Not that you would be driving it, but um, got the dual, the double rotors, so they spin pretty well. I mean, I've, I've only got a few helicopters, but I think this is quite a good one, and it's got some stickers. Uh, the main thing I found is that it's kind of a bit tricky to get figures in the back, um, or to kind of place this guy, who's meant to generally be operating the winch, but I mean, the winch is up on top, which is a bit weird, and you wouldn't have him sat up there near the rotors, so but I guess for playing with it's fine. Um, you've got the net launcher, which <laughs> I find generally they're not very good, like the box shows it kind of flying off, um, but generally I think they just kind of pop out. But for playing with it's fine, you can capture, capture people, hook it up to the winch, uh, catch the bear, so you've got some options there. Uh, the back of the helicopter you can open up so you can see inside um, you've got some uh, let's move my thumb out of the way uh, you've got 
some points there um, for connecting different things. So not a huge amount of room. I think that's generally the way with, with Lego helicopters is that you don't. A lot of space is taken up with kind of the structure. I'm not sure why this is dusty. It's not been built that long. Um, yeah, a few stickers for decoration. You can fit people in there and cargo in there. Just um, it might be tricky if you've got bigger fingers to, to get. Oh, nearly dropped it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, these helicopters, you can load a lot of stuff up, but it's tricky to get people kind of sat in there nicely. They're always going to, and you can put someone on the edge here, but with his, as you can see, he's not quite pushed down, but with his helmet, he's kind of touching the top. So you need to kind of have him perched really on the edge. So he can sit there, which I guess kind of ready for action. So that's fine. Um, to get the pilot in, you need to remove this front section. There we go. So, fairly easy to access. Um, might as well take a look at this guy if I can get him out without pulling him apart. Um, so, just the, that console there with a sticker. Playing pretty simple, really. Um, I don't know what people think, but I think generally, I think, I don't know, something about Lego helicopters, I don't think they're the best compared to some of the other cool vehicles you get. But I guess they're not the easiest to recreate. Um, so the pilot is a lady, which is good. Um, you could, I guess you could swap them over, but pretty nice printed outfit. Looks pretty good. Um, I don't think she has another face. No, so just the one face again, but that's fine. You could always mix and match the heads. Um, I think the smirk is the look. Yeah, so it's slightly different. You could always swap them over. And um, where's the other guy? So he looks like he's getting ready to skydive. And he's got like a rock rock climbing helmet on. Uh, but I think he's, he's fine too. He's got the same good, good looking outfit. So on to, on to my favorite part of this set. Um, so let's look at the bear. So I like the bear, the bear's cool. Um, the bear can stand up on its hind legs. So pretty good for this set, going after the honey. Uh, let's move this one. Yeah. Going for the honey or going for the guy. Uh, head can be so. The front legs are as they are, but the head moves nicely up and down, and the back legs. Oops. So, a bear can be like that, eating something on the ground or looking straight ahead. It's a good, it's a good selection of poses. I think Lego animals are generally pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, you have the little kind of bad guy hideout. So there's not much to it, really. A um, couple of big big rock pieces, I should know, is it just, I think it's just one, one of the big corner ones and then some other bits to make it up. Uh, one of these big pieces. You've got a, um, apologies for the dust. You've got a sticker up here for the, for the roof. Uh, and then this arm and chain is just to connect to the bag of loot which the money is now fed up of, um, but you could use that for other things. Connect, connect the net to it maybe, have the bear caught up in it. So it's got uh, one light up there. Um, I'll save this guy for the end because I like him. So we've got a simple door that opens up uh, around the back. So there's actually nothing at all there, which I'm not surprised because there's really no, no space. So it's kind of more have it on a shelf just for show and play with the front of it. Uh, down the bottom, so inside the cave, there's something small. So not much there. You've obviously got the, the cup because it's a, a city set. And then you've got a printed map with an X to mark the spot. So that's quite nice. Uh, then up top, you've got this kind of very rustic um, bathtub with some water in it. I think in the picture you have it loose, but as this set has been sat on the side waiting for me to review it, hence the dust that seems to happen within a few days, um, I put the studs in place to stop them getting lost. And then yeah, the 
final thing to look at is this other criminal who happens to be having a bath. So I just think he looks funny. Um, I like his beard. His hair is cool. Um, I like his underwear with the bear, bear prints on it. And the fact that he's uh, obviously had a run in with the bear and got a little scratch. Hairy chest is good. Um, and he actually has an alternate face as well. So he's the only one to get one, which is this kind of angry face. But I, I like the scared face. I think that's better. Um, let's, if I can stand him up as I'm doing this one handed again. So there is his alternate face. So he's still pretty good, but I prefer the, I definitely prefer the, uh, the scared hiding from the bare face. But actually, even without the hair on, it still looks pretty good. So I think that's everything in this set. Um, so city sets are not exactly my kind of sets. I'm more into maybe Star Wars and some of the bigger, more complex sets. Um, but I'd like... I like these especially because me and Logan play with them. Um, so police stations and things like that are pretty good. Um, I like any sets you get the animals with, I think they're always good. So yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you can get this cheaper, then I think it's pretty good. Uh, I've got the, I can't remember the set number, but I've got the big uh, mountain police station set upstairs to build for me and Logan to play with. So I'll probably, when I get that set up, wherever that goes eventually, probably put this with it. I think they'll probably go together quite nicely. So yeah. Thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think.